Now that we fully garbed and completed our hand hygiene, we're now gonna clean our primary engineering control. Now this one here is a biological safety cabinet. Um, other forms of primary engineering controls are your horizontal laminar airflow hood, as well as your vertical laminar airflow hood. A biological safety cabinet is cleaned the same way as you would clean a vertical horizontal, I mean a vertical laminar airflow hood. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe our gloves with sterile alcohol. And just allow it to dry. It can take up to 20 seconds or more for the alcohol to dry on your hands. Once the alcohol is dried on your hands, you're going to take your germicidal agent, in this case we've got pre-moistened wipes, and you're going to start with the sealing of your primary engineering control. So you're going to start at the back and doing a side to side motion, work back to front. grab a new wipe for each surface and we're going to clean the back panel. Again, side to side, slightly overlapping, working from top to bottom. Grab a new wipe and we're going to clean the bar. As well as the hooks. Next, we're going to do the sidewalls, and this will be method B. So you start at the back, and go top to bottom, and then bring your cloth back up. Again, slightly overlapping. We're going to repeat this step with the other sidewall. Again, top to bottom with slightly overlapping strokes. This, the sidewalls are the only surface that you would do method B. Next, we're gonna do the work surface using method A, and we're gonna work back to front, side to side, slightly overlapping strokes. Now this hood has a grill, so we're gonna take another cloth and just wipe the grill from side to side. Now we're going to repeat this whole procedure using our sterile alcohol. So starting on the ceiling, we're going to do that today. Side to side, back to front, slightly overlapping. And this is disinfecting the primary engineering control.
grab a new cloth. And we're going to do the back panel. So side to side, top to bottom. using method A. We're going to do the bar again and the hook. Now if the hook falls, you can take a new cloth and rewipe it. Now we're going to use method B and clean the side wall from top to bottom. And the other side wall. We're going to do the work surface, back to front, side to side, again slightly overlapping. And again, a new cloth for the front row. Now, because this has a viewing window, we're going to lower it to the manufacturer's recommended height. So most hoods will have an arrow indicating where to set the viewing window. And so for this, we're going to use our German societal agent using method A just reach as far as you can and going side to side top to bottom if the outside of your PEC viewing window is dirty you would do another wipe with a germicidal agent again method A going side to side top to bottom now, because this viewing window is made of plexiglass, we cannot use alcohol on it. It will cause streaking and make it hard to um, see through when you're compounding. So in this instant, we would use sterile water for irrigation. And again, using method A, going top to bottom, side to side, with slight overlapping strokes. And that completes our lesson on cleaning up primary engineering control.